Hi, in today's video we're looking at the uh, Earth Invaders. Now, I purchased this off eBay uh, for spares or repair and according to the seller that I purchased it from it's got a gremlin inside of it, so yeah, but uh, yeah, it's uh, nicely boxed um, according to the specification it's got a 2 kilobytes LSI transistors, diodes, two color fluorescent display panel. Um, for ages six and up, fun for the entire family. So we'll take it out of the box and we'll have a look at it. So it's kind of an unboxing video as well, really. And it even comes with a little. Uh, with a little instruction leaflet which is a nice little touch right so That's uh, one thing I've noticed. There seems to be a screw missing already, so whether or not somebody's been in previously or not. Right, so the display is lit up. Yeah, well, it looks like the characters in that top right hand corner The on off switch seems non-functional And the buttons don't seem to do anything so Apart from that it's in actually quite good condition so We shall take it apart and see if we can repair it Alright, it looks like somebody soldered these two wires on previously. And there's a screw half out here. That screw's now in properly and neither's that one. So yeah, it definitely looks like somebody's been at this previously. So that's not a good uh, start. I well, suppose the main things are working, the um, display is working, the CPU is working, so that's the main things. The rest of it is just really inputs. Right. Okay, it looks like this plugs onto a sub board. Either that or it's just soldered directly on. Just in case, we'll remove this. Well, one thing I have noticed, just kind of looking at this, obviously the ground goes here, but somebody soldered this wire on here, and I'm just wondering if it's supposed to be there, and it's not actually going through the switch, which would make sense why it was on all the time, because that contact there, Looks like it's uh, 
not even interacting with the switch. So I wonder if that red wire is actually supposed to be soldered here or there. Because I've just noticed there's a... Oh, well, that looks like the ground. So I don't know. Ah, plus six bat. Right. So yeah, I think the battery's supposed to be soldered there. Okay. It looks like there's supposed to be an extra wire on here as well. And there's only two on there. Right. So yeah, somebody has been into this before. So that's the reason why it's not switching on and off. And the controls may just be dirty contacts. Right, so which way is this supposed to be wired up then? So we've got the ground here. We've got what positive there, which is supposed to go to there by the way, but also it's got AC ground. Ah, unless that's plus six volt battery there. Tell you what, I'll just try swapping that wire. And we'll just redo this a bit because it's a a little bit of a little bit of a mess, not. Tidy it up a bit. Right, so battery ground. Almost to here. Now I'm not sure of the pin out of this AC adapter, but what I think is supposed to happen is actually the battery is supposed to go to this one. It'll then go through the socket and come back down unless you've got the adapter plugged in and then the power should go from there to there. So I think there must be a ground wire or something missing off this as well. I'll see if I've got a plug to fit this adapter. Right, I found a little plug that fits. I'll just try and work out which pin goes to where. Just check that, uh, that these pins actually go to the same ones on the opposite plug. So, all right, so we'll see where the center pin goes. Yeah, so that's the center pin which goes to there. The ground pin. Actually, seem to be working. Because I'm not getting a reading on any of those ones. Nice. Let's see if those. Yeah, so that socket's actually faulty. 
because I think two of those should link together or is it that one? Oh. Right, okay. Right. So, those two link together when there's no adapter plugged in. So the battery plus should be going to that one. The blue one should be ground. I think I'll be sold at these wires on. Ah, right, I get it now. And that goes to there. Oh, that's where it should have gone. Right. I have it worked out now. Power from the adapter. Centre pin goes here. And then the battery power one will go to there, which will bridge across when there's no adapter plugged in. will come in there and should end up there which it does now nice and we'll just double check that ground well the AC ground one doesn't actually appear to go to the battery ground well anyway We'll try the batteries and we'll see if the um, one off switch works now. Yeah. Right. So the on off switch works now. And what I'll do, I'll just get some uh, switch cleaner and we'll try cleaning up some of these contacts. Right, I have some switch cleaner. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray it on a piece of just printer paper and rub these contacts and it should make them all nice and Shiny. And it should remove any dirt or whatever off them as well. So I'm wondering if this just hasn't been assembled right or something. It definitely looks like somebody should had a go at repairing it previously.
Should we give the screen, the screen a quick wipe while we're in here? It actually looks fairly clean, but I'll just give it a quick wipe. Right. I forgot you've got to bury the monsters as well, actually, when they fall in the hole, haven't you? That's it. I think it seems to be working okay. All the buttons seem to be working. It's moving in the directions when you press them. And the digging berry buttons are working. And we'll see if it switches off. And it does, so... Cool. I think we'll call this another success. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe. And any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always... Have a great day. Thanks for watching.